was to get first-hand um, policy experience with policymakers. We met with the uh, vice minister of the environment. So, you know, how many people actually have access to that? Not very many. So we we're fortunate to have uh, our uh, Japanese student who actually works in the Ministry of Environment who had that access for us. And uh, visiting the tsunami area was a big reality check for what you know, devastation can really do and how it can affect people and their lives and hearing it firsthand I think uh, was a great privilege for us to have. The local municipalities have um, authority to make their own decisions on what they want to do, how they want to rebuild, and basically the central government just funds them. Uh, but when we were there, there was great differences between the cities that were affected by the tsunami. One in particular looked pretty much like a war zone. It looked like it had just happened maybe a few months ago versus another city was well on their way on rebuilding, moving the houses from the lower land to the higher land, yet they have um, equal amount of representation in the central government, so they said. The most eye-opening thing was um, really going to those devastated areas and seeing the vast differences that those cities, those cities are experiencing um, in terms of rebuilding. Of course, we have our own domestic issues, but we also have to take a world view on what we're doing and how we're affecting other people and knowing what other countries are doing and, you know, what things could be done better, we can take that with our own policies and you know, try to form our own and also maybe help other countries as well.